this is Pony Prepper Bill. Today I just want to do a quick video on a couple things that I saw in the news that maybe I don't quite get or I don't quite understand. Um, one was we've had all these ships out at the ports trying to get unloaded. The shipping crisis, uh, containers, containers, don't have enough containers there's a shortage of metal so the problem with shipping is there's not enough containers is what they were saying like last month and the month before but now in California they're unloading all these ships and all these containers and we have an abundance of containers that are taking there's nowhere to put these containers they're putting them in city streets or in towns, they're blocking people where they can't get out of their house. So we have a problem of shipping containers. Bottleneck. One city is caught between two 24-7 ports and seeing this on their streets. Several large containers blocking their driveways. Ooh. Supply chain crisis is now spilling, as you see there, into nearby communities. Well, CPS 2's Rachel Kim asked the Transportation Secretary about possible solutions. As the supply chain bottleneck at the ports of Los Angeles and Long Beach continue to leave few places for empty shipping containers to sit, they're spilling over and now waiting in surrounding communities, sometimes along residential streets like this in Wilmington. And it's a bunch of neighbors that are very upset because it's a nonstop situation. Sonia Cervantes lives along Anaheim Street, where UCTI Trucking Company is located. The company's lot only has a capacity for 65, so the additional containers now lie up along Anaheim Street in front of some people's homes. I would have to go in at 6.30 a.m. in the morning to go to work. There was a trailer already blocking my driveway so I couldn't get out. And then with, with no driver in the trailer. So uh, we would honk and honk and it was just crazy. I don't understand this at all. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe you can let me know uh, what the hell I'm missing. If you unload a ship and it's empty. It's been sitting out at sea for two months with all these shipping containers. We unload it, but they're going back empty? Just a little bit of common sense here. If this is the problem, why don't we, as they're taking containers off, why don't they have somebody put containers back on to take them back? And that would solve the shipping container problem. I mean, doesn't that kind of make sense? It reminds me of people that I was talking to during the Korean War, and maybe the, the Vietnam too, I don't know. But the mass units, when soldiers came in, the doctors and surgeons would get the wounded, do surgery, and get them as quickly as they could to a hospital. Every person left with a wool blanket to keep them warm you know in the winter it was freezing cold in Korea but a lot of the mass units were running out of blankets so the wounded didn't have any blankets now correct me if I'm wrong here the ambulances would take the wounded with the blankets to the hospital now these ambulances come back to the mass unit. So you have a limited supply at the hospital, at, at the mass unit and battalion aid stations. And so that means when all these wounded go to the hospital, they have an abundance of blankets. So if the ambulance is coming back for more wounded, can't they bring back more blankets? The ones they could be dirty, they could be washed, whatever. That would solve the problem. Okay? Ah, uh, that's what I got on that one. And I saw, ow, I'm getting bit out of here. I saw that Dunkin' Donuts put a sign up. People are going to Dunkin' Donuts. They were getting coffee, but they had no donuts. And they had a sign because of the shortages. And the ingredients, it wasn't that they couldn't get locally, they didn't have truck drivers to bring them stuff from the Dunkin' Donuts store or warehouse. 
it was stuff coming on the shipping containers. Now, what do you have? Flour, wheat, flour. Don't we make that here in the United States? We don't grow coffee here in the United States. But Dunkin' Donuts has coffee, but no donuts. I, I don't understand the concept there. Um, what we grow here, we can't get. But what we're bringing from the shipping containers, crisis and all, we have coffee, but we can't make donuts. So you explain that to me. I, I don't understand that at all. And another thing I saw was uh, in California and a couple wineries. They there's a shortage of glass. They 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 can't get glass. They can't get labels. Well, the wine is being stored in barrels so long that the wine tastes like sawdust. I guess wine. I don't know anything about wine. So. But evidently, wine can only stay in a barrel for so long, and then they put it in bottles. And they're getting bottles from other wineries with a different label. Don't we make glass in the United States? Can't we make... I mean, all through the United States, we have all these places that we used to make glass. We have all these sand plants. We don't make glass here? Uh, am I missing something? I'm not putting out there saying, I know what I'm talking about. I don't know. You explain to me what these problems are. Uh, I don't understand the concept of all this stuff, all these shortages. Are we getting everything? Everything from overseas? Paper. We have paper mills. We have we, we make paper. I mean, I used to be a printer. And there's paper processing plants all over. You mean to tell me they can't get labels printed here in the United States for wine? And they said they didn't have any bags to put. When you buy a bottle, they couldn't put them in a bag? I don't understand that. Uh, it's a wine bag? I don't know. I guess we can't make that here in the United States. So all these people that don't want to go back to work, maybe we could open some glass plants. Maybe we could make paper, printing presses, put people on cranes to put shipping containers on ships to take back to wherever. Uh, I don't understand the concept of, I don't understand what's going on in this world. It, there seems to be no common sense whatsoever. They say one thing, there's no shipping containers. We don't know, uh, there's a shortage of metal and aluminum and but now we have an abundance. There's so many of them. We don't, they're, they're blocking people that can't get out of their house. I'm going to keep this video short. That's all I got for now. Let me know your thoughts and what's really going on. Is this really a problem or is it just no common sense at all? This is Pony Prepper Bill and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.